Hey guys, today we're continuing with the update videos from the 2022 SEMA show, and that includes a new supercharged and turbocharged lineup of engines from the Dodge brand. These will be added to the Direct Connection catalog and sold as a crate engine, and they also give us some hints for the future. So today we will talk about the new Helifant and Hurry Crate series of engines, as well as the 1500 horsepower Hemi crate engine. So let's get into it. Dodge CEO Tim Kaniskas spoke about these new engines, saying, quote, we're bringing the Helifant back and adding new Hurry Crate engines to augment the direct connection lineup with two families of crate engines. The demand from enthusiasts for performance parts for the street and strip continues to grow, and direct connection will continue to be there to feed it. Since direct connection first launched back in March, our performance parts line continues to evolve, backed by the factory and by our network of Dodge Power Brokers dealers. He does say bringing back the Helifant, as there already was a 426 crate engine unveiled at the 2018 SEMA show, and it was open for orders on April 26, 2019, or 426, which is Hemi Day, at a cost of 29995 and it sold out in just two days. So first we will check out this new Helifant engine series. They all feature a 3-liter IHI supercharger and Gen 3 Hemi engine block. They expand from the original 426 supercharged version that had 1,000 horsepower and 950 pound-feet of torque to now offer four crate engines. There's a new naming system that indicates the engine block material, A for aluminum or C for cast iron, and the fuel type, 30 for premium fuel and 170 for E85 fuel. First up is the A30, which is the original Helifant 426 supercharged Hemi. This features 4340 H-beam rods with forged aluminum pistons and 3.17-inch supercharger pulley to achieve 1,000 horsepower on premium fuel. The A170 ups the ante with an upgraded fuel system with flux fuel capability using E85 to deliver over 1,100 horsepower. Next are the C30 and C170 engines. These have several upgrades to optimize cylinder pressure capability and deliver maximum performance on premium or E85 fuel configurations. The C30 has an upgraded 376 cubic inch cast iron long block. It still has a 3 liter supercharger but gets a larger throttle body, stronger rods, pistons, upgraded hardware, and valve train. Preliminary estimates put this engine at around 900 horsepower. The C170 crate engine is similar, but this has E85 fuel capability and delivers over 1000 horsepower. So overall these engines range from about 900 to 1100 horsepower. I'll post the highlighted features on screen, which included a 105mm throttle body, upgraded internals, and an ethanol sensor and upgraded fuel rail and injectors for improved fuel flow on the C170E85 models. Direct Connection is also offering two race engines. The Drag Pack Hemi Crate engine costs $56,995 and is approved for NHRA Factory Stock Showdown and NMCA FSC. This engine has a 354 cubic inch aluminum block with drag pack exclusive aluminum heads, and it produces around 1400 horsepower in competition, and it's found under the hood of the 2021 Mopar drag pack cars. So that's not really a new engine, but the other one is, and it's called the Direct Connection 1500 Hemi. This is a collaboration with longtime partner DSR Performance, and Dodge offers this 7 liter monster through Direct Connection for a staggering $59,990. The power output is in the name, 1500 horsepower and 1000 pound feet of torque which makes it the most powerful crate engine ever offered by the brand it uses a 3 liter whipple gen 5 supercharger with 112 millimeter whipple throttle body running a 9.7 to 1 compression ratio it's compatible with the hell crate wire harness for pre-1976 swaps and custom builds and it gets 1700 cc injectors and 356 ported aluminum cylinder heads and it has the same bolt pattern and motor mounts as the hellcat v8 other specs include a 4.1 inch bore, 4.05 inch stroke, stroked BGE cast iron block, ultra billet steel crankshaft, billet aluminum pistons, a high performance cam, and billet aluminum covers powder coated in black. Direct Connection lists this 1500 Hemi with a tentative install time of 40 hours, and they also mention that the 1500 Hemi swap vehicles that were manufactured for model year 1976 or later cannot be driven on public roads or highways. Next, we move on to the all-new Hurry Crate series. I've been talking about these engines, which are the 3-liter twin-turbocharged Hurricane inline 6 cylinders, for some time now, and those will likely be found in many of the next-gen Mopar vehicles, and they've already started with the Jeep Grand Wagoneer. The Hurricane was named one of Ward's 10 best engines in propulsion systems for 2022, and it is expected to be the replacement for both the 5.7-liter and 6.4-liter Hemi V8s, as it delivers more horsepower and torque with fewer emissions. So obviously these all-new Direct Connection Hurricrate series engines are derived from the 3.0-liter Hurricane twin-turbo engine. 
there are going to be two versions, a Hurry Crate Cat 1 and Cat 3. Not sure why they're using the cat name here. The numbers are still preliminary estimates for the crates, but the Cat 1 looks to offer 420 horsepower and 468 pound-feet of torque at 2500 RPM. So again, that's a pretty substantial upgrade when compared to the 5.7 liter Hemi. The Cat 3 then goes up to 550 horsepower and 531 pound-feet of torque at just 3500 RPM, again significantly more than the 6.4 liter Hemi had stock. As for some specific details, the Cat 1 delivers 22 PSI of peak boost and has a compression ratio of 10.4 to 1. It uses cast aluminum pistons with cast iron top ring LAN insert. It also has a single high pressure direct fuel injection with pump actuated by a dedicated chain driven shaft and engine mounted water to air charge cooler with a dedicated cooling circuit with a single inlet. The Cat 3 has twin Garrett turbochargers that deliver 26 PSI of peak boost and the compression ratio goes down to 9.5 to 1. This engine has lightweight oil jet cooled forged aluminum pistons with an anodized top ring land and a diamond like coating on the pins to minimize the friction and there is a cooling circuit with a dual inlet instead of a single. As for some other features, each hurry crate engine has plasma transfer wire arc coating in the cylinder bores for a very thin and low friction wear surface. They both have two low inertia high flow turbochargers that each feed three cylinders, giving a fast response to the throttle. Both have dual overhead camshafts with wide range fully independent variable valve timing, and dual water cooled exhaust manifolds integrated into the cylinder head. Dodge also has plans to release a hurry crate X crate engine, which will be a racing specific variation, and that will be the power plan for the next Mopar drag pack. Also note that for both the Helifant and Hurry Crate series engines, horsepower and torque specs are preliminary estimates. The official pricing, availability, and final specs will all be announced in 2023. So that's it for today's video. What do you think of the new direct connection crate engines from Dodge? Let me know down in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for all your Mopar content, and I'll see you in the next video.